Emma, it is always a pleasure to catch up. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, thanks very much for having me. Now, uh, I've got to tell you, throughout this entire COVID-19 situation that we're all going through around the world right now, it has been my MyZone tracker that has kept me moving throughout this entire thing because even fitness professionals lack motivation every now and then. So I have learned to love my little bits of outdoor exercise and training around the house. And uh, so a huge thank you to you and the MyZone team because it's definitely MyZone that has kept me going and kept me moving throughout this time. So that's kind of relevant because all of the team at MyZone have been working on something pretty special for the month of April. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, look, we uh, we recognised that people needed to have a bit of fun. Um, it, it's been a uh, not so fun uh, two or three weeks, and uh, and we thought about what we do, and we do encourage uh, people to uh, maintain their exercise routine. And what better time than encouraging them uh, right now whilst they're at home? And so what we did was we got ten thousand dollars and threw it into a prize pool. And for the month of April, we're running a global challenge whereby uh, the users of MyZone um, will earn a raffle ticket if they earn 1,300 METs in the month of April. Um, and for the MyZone users out there listening, um, 1,300 METs, they will be familiar with it. For those that are, are not that familiar with the MyZone system, it's basic, basically aligned with the World Health Organization guidelines as it relates to uh, prescribed exercise. So think of the old rule, 150 minutes of moderate activity per week or 75 minutes worth of vigorous activity. Uh, what we've done is we've attached that to our colour system. And so yellow and red would be considered vigorous. Green and blue would be considered moderate. We've mixed it up, come, at, come up with the number 1300. Um, this is what we've built our status ranking system on. And so that's why we're, um, uh, we're rewarding... Uh, uh, our users around that number and, and look that 10,000 bucks Chantel it's been broken up into the first prize winner will uh, will win 5,000 and then there will be 10 runners up who will win 500 US dollars a piece and it will be done randomly. That sounds incredible now is this open to anyone across the world? Yeah anyone who's got a my zone belt and it's registered. And if they don't have a MyZone belt, they can still get one as long as they earn 1,300 MIPS in the month. At the end of the month, they will be in the prize draw. That is incredible. So from a user perspective, or even from a, a gym owner perspective, if I know that a whole lot of my members have MyZone belts and I want to encourage them to keep active, is there anything that we need to do? Do we need to register or we just go about, make sure that we're wearing our belt while we're exercising and it will happen automatically? Yeah, yeah, really, really good question. We, we thought about this and we knew that we had to make it as easy as possible. So rather than going out to uh, the millions of members that we've got or, or users in our case, we went out to the gym operators and said, look, guys, we're running this. We're firing the gun on the 1st of April. If you do not want to be in it, that's cool. Just let us know and opt out. And out of the 6,000 clubs around the world, yeah, we had a few clubs opt out for one reason or the other. It didn't align with um, you know, their key messaging at the time or, or whatever it may be. So we've opted those clubs out, but the vast majority, I'm talking 98, 90, 99% of the MyZone users around the world are in the challenge. And uh, we, we sent them uh, an invite and instructions on the 30th of, uh, of April. That is amazing. And maybe even the on the 30th of April, I'm going to say probably the 30th of March, right? Or are you, uh, are you yes, going the back to the of future? March, as in today. Yes. <laughs> as in right yes, now. As, as in we're today, the 30th this. of March. That is yes. it. Don't worry. None of us know what date it is right now. It oh, feels just right. very matter. strange. Doesn't very matter. strange. There's money on the table, and all you have That's to do is right. exercise. That's kind of the, the, the basis of it. And, and Chantel, the thing about ra random is that it's very inclusive of all. If we turned around and said, there's a MyZone challenge and he or she that earns the most MyZone effort points in a one month period wins the money, then very soon you exclude everyone and it's the Ironmen and the triathletes that, that go on and, and take the, the prize. Whereas, you know, what we've done is we've come back and said, hey, it's about the, the World Health Organization guidelines. 1300 METs is an achievable number it's consistent with status ranking and anyone can win it. The Ironman who earns five, six, seven thousand MEPs a month 
can win it, but so can his mum, who normally earns about 1,300 MEPs a month. She can also win the money too. I absolutely love this challenge and uh, I'm super excited to get involved and I'm also really excited to, to reach out to my friends who I know have my zone belts and kind of get them yep. a part of this as well because I just think anything that we are doing to get people moving throughout this time, we all know the importance of physical activity and, and I love that you guys have come up with this. I'm really excited to take part myself. Uh, I know that there'll be heaps of people in the FBP family that will jump on board with this. So for anyone, if they want to find out any further information, although I think it's pretty clear, it's pretty straightforward and simple to follow, but if they do need any more information, who should they reach out to? Yeah, look, if they go to uh, support at myzone.org, um, or if they come to us through our website or one of our social media channels, we'll, we'll absolutely help. Um, you know, what we've uh, been helping our existing operators with this week is by giving them voucher codes. And so they've been going out to their members that don't have MyZone, and they've been saying, hey, we're running a challenge and MyZone's giving away 10,000 bucks. If you want to be in it, then click this code here. It's a discount code and the bolt will ship to your door. Um, and that's relevant in countries, uh, uh, America, uh, the UK, um, Australia, where we, where we ship. Um, and, and so that's a, a way of operators reaching out to those members who don't yet have a MyZone belt, but, but need something to keep them motivated throughout this period. That's amazing. That's awesome. Well, look, if people want to uh, get involved with that, then then make sure that you do because definitely the more people that are taking part in the MyZone Challenge, the better, so that we can all stay yeah. active uh, throughout April and, and beyond as well. So, Emmett, any final messages for all of the FVP family out there? Yeah, you know what, Chantel, I think the, the key opportunity for us as operators is to realise that gyms are shut at the moment and there's nothing we can do about it. But what we can do is we can prepare for the bounce back. And the bounce back is about getting as many members back into the club as possible. And we know that we're going to get our core members back in. They'll be lining up at 5am on the first day to get back in. But what about that bottom quartile of members who weren't as motivated as the top quartile? And what about the third quartile who are sort of motivated but not really motivated? They're the ones that we need to address. And by keeping them keeping on and keeping their, their routine in place um, and by keeping them feeling the, the endorphins and the, the dopamine of exercise, by doing that, the chances of them coming back to your gym whenever that is um, is higher and, and and that's how you play the percentages by by increasing the chance of return yeah i absolutely love that message and one of the things that i'm hearing so much out there in the industry right now is the importance of routine so similar to what you're saying is just making sure that people are keeping that consistency in their lifestyles, the routine of exercise. And as you say, for those who may not be as used to exercise, just keeping them moving in some way, shape or form is, uh, is a really positive step in the right direction. So I am super excited about the MyZone Challenge. I can tell that all of the team at MyZone are as well. So we cannot wait yep. to kick things off on the, the 1st of April, right? The 1st of April, yes. <laughs> Phenomenal. Um, Emmett, thank you so much for joining me today. No worries. Thank you, Chantelle.